Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. As demolition wraps up, progress on the renovations of the historic Strand Theater continues. Mountaintop spoke with Les Stapleton to learn more about the plans for the Prestonsburg icon. I do want to tell everybody, the Strand sign came down. We had it refurbished. New neon and everything, so it's coming soon. We have some plans now. Uh, we're going to have a small kitchen area that I think you show on some of the roll. Drinks, bars, food bar, we're going to have food. We're getting all new seats. Uh, we were going to try to rescue those seats that would have been there forever, but just way too much work. Uh, and we're gonna put the balcony back in. We've tried to keep as much history as we can in place. Unfortunately, a lot of it was regulations have outpassed, outdone some of it. And for those in Floyd County who remember Dan Goble, the speakers that he used to have on his car when he'd drive around and announce the movies will be a part of the decorations here. We're going to, uh, we're going to dress it up a little bit. We're gonna have, a, like I said, we'll have VIP seating in the balcony. And then we're gonna have uh, two booths, probably. And there'll be a private booth, you know, maybe six, eight people go in. Some of y'all coming together, you come down and watch it and you get that. So you're sort of off to yourself, but you're still a part of everything. So we're going to try to make it as best possible experience that anybody can have to come to a dinner theater, sit down, relax, watch a movie, watch a play, watch a concert. And we want everybody to have a good time. Stay tuned to Mountaintop News for further updates as renovations progress. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.